All right. It's time for the world famous chicken bowl. Everybody looks forward to chicken bowl. Look at that. That is some some quality chicken that is all going to be used in chicken bowl. You might be saying, well, what is chicken bowl? Well, chicken bowl is when you have chicken breasts the previous night, and then the next night you cut up the, the pieces of chicken so the microwave more quickly and easily and evenly, and then you put them in a bowl and put uh, mushrooms on top. Chicken bowl. Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. So, um, today's the final day of Runaway Guys Coliseum. We have, uh, I'm pr I, th I think now they've exceeded last year's numbers at this point. I think so. My they're, they're at like 184 or something the last time I checked. Um, Mal and I were on today for uh, Tom's Custom Smash segment. And then at that point, we're actually, we're done. Uh, for us, the, the, the event has ended. Um, we're just having dinner, and then we're actually going to bed pretty early. Um, there's some other segments we could have been a part of. Um, they're doing an Animal Crossing thing that we're, we're not going to be able to join in. Um, and then, of course, they, they'd love it if people would stick around until, like, 3 or 4 a.m. to all have, a, like, a group, like, oh, we did it. But uh, we cannot do that because we got to be up really early tomorrow. Um, one of the things that happened a few weeks ago that was a little scary for Mal is that she, how would you describe, you, you were flossing. I was flossing. You were, Mal was flossing and then I felt. I dislodged a filling or the filling failed and that's just how I noticed it. And it sort of hurt and then like, I was like, oh, it's not so bad. Like, you know, I can sleep. It's not really bothering me. I can eat. And then a week went by and it started to hurt worse. And then on Thursday it was really bad. So I called the dentist and saw if they could see me for an emergency. So So that is what's happening tomorrow. And does that suck? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no one wants to go to the dentist for an emergency in the first place. But when you're also like, oh good, there's a pandemic. Cool. Um, obviously Mal's been a little stressed out about this, but you know, I've told her, it, Statistically, statistically, you'll be fine. And it's important that you go because you're having mouth pain. You don't want to live with mouth pain. And also, it could be something that has the potential of getting worse. So you should probably go. So obviously, the dentist is not open right now, but they are taking emergency appointments. Um, so Mal is going to go in in the morning. But that's the reason why we can't stay up late tonight um, to be a part of any of the other segments or the ending um, is just because... We honestly, after we eat dinner, we should probably think about getting in bed pretty soon. But of course, not before we eat chicken bowl. Mal, what do you think of chicken bowl? Uh, I think rice would be good. And maybe I mean, a sauce. I mean, yeah. Mmm, mushroom would be good. Thanks. I did that. I might be the world's okay SDM, <laughs> but I'm the world's greatest mushroom chef. Okay, that might not that might not be true. I'm wearing the shirt today because um, Tom gave this shirt to me at the last Coliseum, which I thought was a fun little throwback. Um, and on that note, oh, I, since we're finishing, you know, the event today, and um, Mal and I are done for being on the event, uh, congratulations to uh, to everyone. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone involved, everyone that donated, everyone that watched, everyone that spread the word because like it was just a huge success. The amount of money raised is is ridiculous and we won't even know until tomorrow when we until wake, we wake up, up what the actual total was. I know that people were starting to get antsy that they might be able to even hit 200k and that's just bizarre. I mean that's absolutely wild. But um you know, thank you all for contributing in in whatever way you could contribute because um i mean i said it i said it on friday but this whole thing really blew my mind i just did not expect things to go as well as they did and they did and um i'm happy about that and what's so interesting actually about this specific event and you know the isolation part is that it had a lot of technical stuff behind it and um there were things that I mean, honestly, would have never been events 
if it weren't for this specific, uh, you know, <laughs> crisis happening in the world right now. Um, actually, we were even talking about the intro. Mm -hmm. You know, the intro, the Brady Bunch intro is a great idea, um, but it's something that we probably would not have ever done. And we did basically because that was, you know, something that was clever that, that would make sense in context, even though we were all apart. And um, it was a good idea, but it's something that we wouldn't have done. And like one of the segments that we watched today was uh, Jules putting together a, uh, you know, a music track. <laughs> Basically, everyone contributed a little bit to Megalovania. And our contributions were... Uh, Not real contributions? Oh, they were real. There was a lot of people that like played musical instruments and stuff and, and contributed to like a track. And like, I've been busy and I've been tired and I'm like, there is no way I'm going to have time to do this. And uh, earlier today, Jules was like, hey, even if you just want to like send in like a YouTube video of something funny. And I was like, okay. So I submitted the, um, just all of the voices, all of the, the audio tracks of Ness from Smash Ultimate. Like every sound effect that he has. So like, PK Fire! PK Fire! So I just submitted that and I was like, you do something with that. And Mal submitted a quote from Bob Ross and I was like, yeah, that's funny. And there were so many other people that did tracks that, you know, they were, they were fine. But Carlos like, did like 10. Yeah, Carlos did a bunch. Carlos is, is definitely a, a musical overachiever. But, you know, that's a segment that would not have ever existed in a normal um, Runaway Guys Coliseum. It just it doesn't make sense to include. Or like John's fortune cookie, because, like, how are you going to play any game when you're somewhere not home? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, in, in a weird way, I'm actually almost glad that that we've done it this way and obviously I don't want to do it this way all the time and I love seeing my friends and I love seeing my colleagues but this event was unique from the perspective of yes we were forced to do it this way but it also led to some some segments that would have never existed otherwise and I think that that's actually kind of cool what does Chaz always say about limits breed creativity mm -hmm. Yep, limitations breed creativity, and in this case, they they absolutely certainly did. So, I don't know what the final total is right now because uh, we are going to be going to bed here, and they're going to be up for a few more hours. But um, they've already succeeded; they've already blown their expectations out of the water, and um, good on them. Good job, everybody. With that, I'm going to eat my chicken bowl, and we're going to get in bed because we got to get up real early to go to the dentist. Um, I'll be staying in the car, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that, you know, there's some level of anxiety about all that. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, I promise. And we got to get that tooth looked at to make sure you're all right. Mouse had a lot of teeth problems in the past because of that root canal. And the tooth that's bothering her is right next to the root canal tooth. So I know that's causing you anxiety just on its own. Mm-hmm. We'll get it taken care of. Did you get sauce? You got that sauce? I want a little bit of sauce. A little sauce? The chicken's really good, but I wanted sauce. Ain't nothing wrong with one sauce. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow. Shall we?